The idea came from my father. He told me about their pictures on the walls and the subway stations of old buildings, you know, old New York. 20 years later, after going through everything, school, college, and all that stuff, I thought I would finally give it a look and just see what my father was talking about. It was going to be a short article. I was going to illustrate some stations with some pictures and tell the stories. But it kind of ran away with me. What I set out to do is make a record of the appearance of the subway stations in New York City. I take drawings of the uh, mosaic or faience designs on the walls which embellish the stations. I devote as much of my time as I can to doing it. Uh, evenings, uh, weekends, vacation time even. You know, it's all, it's a sort of a consuming um, project. So far, I've completed four volumes, volume one, two, three, and four. My ambition is to take care of all the lines until all 490, 496 or 469, 470 stations have been recorded and seen. Why am I doing it? <laughs> okay. My purpose in doing this study is to make a record of what we've got. I want to like document uh, when it was done and who did it. So that's what I want to do. That's my focus, is to give credit to those who made it possible. I really started in earnest in 1978. And I thought I'd get this uh, project finished and wrapped up by the year 2030, which is only 14 years from now. Perhaps I have to re-estimate um, re and um, suggest maybe close to 2040. I'll be in my 90s then. Hope I can still see. <laughs> the pleasure of doing the job is um, is payment. I'm committed to it, that's all. It's my, pur it's my purpose, it's my life. It's become my identity. So I have to live up to it. <laughs>